Hello! Recently I posted this part animation of a demo video that I'm working on and as soon as I posted uh, I've been asked for how this is made, render setting, slide and so on. Uh, that's really basic but uh, I want to show you. Okay. Um, as you hopefully know, uh, real displacement textures come with uh, demo scenes, uh, especially for Cinema 4D. These demo scenes are prepared for standard renderer or advanced renderer in 4K, 8K and 16K, as well as Octane and V-Ray. So, if you are a Cinema user, you don't need to set up anything. Uh, you just open up Cinema 4D. In my case, I want to use Octane. I really love this uh, GPU renderer because of its speed. And uh, let's take the 4K version uh, in, in, in this case. And I just drag and drop the scene file into uh, the viewport of Cinema 4D and it's loading. I start the render engine and I get this live viewer window which I shrink a little right now and then I press render. Here it is. Um, so as we saw in the video I have some shadows of a tree that is moving in the wind means uh, I need this uh, tree and therefore I used Forester which is a really cool plugin for C4D and I take this tree we don't need textures here we just want to have uh, the shadows I take this tree in a position where I can see the shadows. Um, then I could choose for uh, a prepared tree here in the tree library. In my case, I just changed manually the design of the tree uh, with choosing for branch counts and uh, what, whatever I want to have here but for speeding up this tutorial a little I just take a prepared tree uh, you know I recently released uh, these scanned leaves they have a huge advantage because they come with objects, low poly objects that are already a little displaced and deformed. So it's really nice to use them for uh, scattering on the floor. But if you drag and drop it into your scene, you not only get this uh, low poly object, you also get the material. So we can use this material instead of the original material of this tree by just overwriting uh, press uh, alt key and move the material I repeat alt move it here so uh, the standard material of the tree is uh, overwritten right now the forms of the leaves uh, is uh, what I don't like so I have to change it we go into the leaves tab of this tree and there we have a spline for the form we want to have a square so we delete this and we want to have it larger so we are going to scale up the leaf size so that it fits uh, for a scene and so that we get some nice shadows. Uh, 
we also would have really cool barks and stuff like that but as i mentioned before we don't need textures on this tree because we only want to have shadows uh, so further we said uh, we want to have an uh, animated tree this is really easy with forester because you simply activate uh, the hyper wind which is this tab and here we go we press the pause button on the renderer and here we have the animation uh, if you want to speed up we can rise the global uh, uh, wind multiplier or as well the wind speed this might be too much so and here we have a moving tree let's go down to our floor to our scanned texture and let's see how it looks here we go we have moving shadows And well, uh, that's basically it. Um, <clears throat> as you see in the window, uh, in in the video, if I repeat it, this is a kind of shaky cam, and therefore Cinema 4D got a really really cool tool, <coughs> which is the motion cam. Uh, let's go that way. We want to have a basic uh, camera motion that comes, let's say, from here to this position. Okay, so now when we slide, let's deactivate the tree for a moment. When we slide to see. We have a nice movement, we could uh, change the rotation here just a little. Like that, so now we fly forward with a slight rotation and later there is more rotation. Okay, so this is a linear camera movement. We now duplicate this camera and we add the motion camera tag to one of these uh, copies. Uh, Give me a second. Uh, here, motion camera. Bam, here it is. Motion camera is working with a rig. Uh, we can link an object to tell it this is the rig. We are going to delete the keys for one of these cameras bam and now we link the animated camera to the motion camera tag to tell it this is my rig now we don't want to have a height or a parallax we go to motion and tell it we want to have Footsteps, head rotation, camera rotation, and position. And if we play it now, you see it's getting a little shaky. We also have dynamics that we can turn on. And we can damp them a little. Give it more position shakiness 
yeah so now we have the camera movement you see this is shaking if we go backwards the camera is not following anymore the keyframes it stands on on the position and here you say see uh, how much it shakes okay further we want to set up a nice camera look you see the shadows here are slightly tinted in blue all the scene is slightly blue so for octane we have this camera imager which has a white balance so why not going here to blue and we have a corrected white level now if we like to we can also change the camera exposure and gamma settings we could also add a post effect which is a slight glow that's also uh, looking really nice and if we want to have uh, darker shadows and um, more highlight we can also uh, tweak the sky the sun slightly uh, this turbidity makes the opposite way so it simulates a slightly cloudy sky so we go down to two that means we have a darker environment and more contrast to the sunlight and if you find that the shadows are too soft you can reduce the sun size and make it really hard uh, there is another trick if you still uh, think uh, your environment is too bright you can also add a texture environment which is now just the RGB spectrum and activate mix sky texture so the sun is now using this sky environment for the background and if we lower uh, the RGB values here for this sky we get less ambient light so this is how you can change uh, the light setting here and let's say now we want to have a bit of DOF uh, depth of field we can go to the octane camera tag and just rise the aperture to get a nice DOF and why not uh, using more bouquet like uh, DOF we get that if we rise the aperture edge let's say to 2.3 now we gonna get uh, nice bouquet effects again let's tweak uh, the camera exposure just a little so and that's it nothing more to do and honestly it, it doesn't have much to do with my textures uh, you just drag and drop uh, the cinema for d file in into your program into cinema and here it comes fully is with a full setup um, we have an advanced setup here this means you have if I show you the node tree you have um, <coughs> gloss and high gloss which is cool because you can slide between those two to give it a more harsh and um, contrasted gloss style or uh, overall glossiness and yes we have also combined bump and normal map here not all the versions of uh, octane support that but uh, it is 
here and if you don't like to use one of these shaders you just deactivate it and you're done so I hope this uh, helps you a little here just to repeat this is the result that I have been shown and the way to get this I guess is really easy okay Thanks a lot. Ciao.